Hi everyone, this is Nikki Rowland and today I have a layout for Lottie Loves Paper um, using the Coffee and Friends collection by Echo Park Paper. I'm also playing along with a couple of challenges today. I really love playing with playing along with challenges, they you know, get me out of my comfort zone. So I'm using this week's sketch from Lottie Loves Paper and I'm also playing along with the mood board challenge over on Pear Tree Cut Files. Um, so I love a mood board and I love a sketch so I'm going to combine the two um, and uh, use this collection and this cut file here um, to create this layout. So I'm using Hug in a Mug um, cut file from um, Pear Tree Cut Files and I have cut it in white and I have cut the backing pieces from one of the Coffee and Friends pattern papers, so that's the pink one. Um, and um, I have, um, I say cut all the backing pieces. Now I've cut the letters and I've cut the heart for the middle of the coffee cup. Um, the coffee cup itself also needs to be backfilled, um, but I'm gonna do that manually uh, just because it was slightly, because it was welded to other things. It was probably quicker for me to do it manually than it was to fiddle around on my silhouette software and do it like that. So um, that's what I'm doing now. Um, I'm just going to trace around that with my pencil um, and cut it out, so very easy to do. Um, and then I have this middle section where you've got like some coffee in the coffee cup. So I'm gonna cut, I was gonna cut the middle out of the green, but actually what I decided to do was um, draw around, um, I needed to cut the handle out, sorry, the little hole in the handle, that had to come out. But the middle part, which is, just needs to be a different color, instead of cutting around it or a middle bit out of the green what I could do is I could cut a piece and backfill that first from a different color so I've just gone for a piece of black uh, paper um, and um, I can stick that in and then I can stick the coffee mug as a hole um, over the top of that uh, behind it um, and that way I don't have to cut, cut out that fiddly bit from the middle um, it was only the um, the handle that I had to do so that was nice and straightforward really easy um, and uh, easy to backfill and fun to do and now I have this fabulous uh, looking cut file just trimming off any last bits where I've uh, stuck it not quite right um, so uh, yeah I am um, that is done that's gonna go in the middle of my layout now um, I say I was trying to play along with the sketch now the sketch has a very narrow piece of pattern paper or similar down the middle I wondered um, about whether this cut file would look right on top of the only piece of large piece of pattern paper I've got left from this collection would that look right or not in the end I decided to go wider than the sketch um, but um, it needed the cut file needed to sit on top of it um, and I decided just to go slightly wider than the cut file so I initially thought should I have the cut file coming off the side or one you know or one side or, or what um, but in the end it looked better central and on top of the pattern so the pattern is a bit challenging because it's a black and white gingham. Um, there's areas of black and there's areas of white. So um, I'm trying to get the cut file to sit on top of that really nicely. Um, it could I was worried it was going to get a bit lost in the pattern, but actually it got lost more in the white background because you lost the the words and the outline of the cut file because the cut file was cut in white. Um, so actually it looks really good on the black and white, but I just had to carefully position it so that um, the areas that needed to be on the black were on the black sections. Um, so um, I've put my piece of pattern paper down the middle. You can see the sketch there now over on the right hand side. Um, now there is no cut file appearing on that sketch, but you know, sketches are open to interpretation. My, I've got the middle section down the middle. I've got my photo in kind of the same place, my title kind of in the same place. Um, and uh, I'm going to add some embellishments as well. So I think it's okay. It definitely fits the sketch and the sketch was definitely a starting point and um, so, uh, a bit you know definitely I used it for inspiration so even though it's not exactly the same um, it's definitely inspired by um, now the mood board um, this is Vic's mood board over uh, for the um, pear tree cut files uh, challenge Hold on, I've got it somewhere let me find it um, because um, when I use a um, when I use a mood board, I tend to make a list of all the things um, on the mood board that I can see, and I wonder if there's anything I can be inspired by. So the list I made that I thought I could incorporate in this layout was hearts, rainbow. Now there's rainbow colors, um, but not an actual rainbow, but I figured it's okay, and I've brought in a neutral wood veneer rainbow. So it's a bit of a stretch, but I think it's okay. <laughs> so hearts, rainbow, flowers, coffee there's a mug of coffee obviously that's perfect for me 
Um, sky or clouds, wood grain, stacked words, vertical design, and little circles. Um, so I've used all of those things on this layout. So I've used hearts, plenty of those. They're coming in a bit. Um, rainbow, uh, that's I explained a minute ago about the wood veneer rainbow. Uh, flowers, well, there'll be some fussy cut flowers. Coffee, obviously my photo and the coffee cup that appears on the layout. Um, sky stroke clouds well there's no sky on my layout but i have used some bramble fox clouds they'll be coming on in a bit um wood grain so there is um blocks little blocks all stacked on top of each other that say love so i thought that i could bring in some wooden wood veneer pieces um and that would cover the wood grain um now it's got um there's a plaque on there that says love what you do and do what you love um, so obviously I haven't got the same phrase but I do have stacked words um, so I have hug in a mug and it's in a stacked vertical design um, also the word love that's stacked in um, little building blocks that's a vertical design as well so this whole um, vertical design thing that I have got going on which has come from the sketch also fits well with the vertical designs on the mood board um, and then I've got little circles. Now there's lots. There's like um, like a. I think it's a palette of paints with lots of tiny circles, um, with in rainbow colours. Um, so I don't have a paint palette or anything like that. Um, but um, I interpreted the little circles and I've used some um, tiny uh, pearls and sequins as well to represent the circles. Plus I've also splattered paint later on as well. So lots and lots of things there that I've managed to incorporate um, from that mood board through into my layout whilst also following the sketch. Um, okay so I've moved on a bit because I've been talking about the mood board for so long <laughs> um, but uh, I have um, pulled out some bits and pieces that will work well um, in my photo cluster so I obviously have the one photo behind it I've got a um, craft envelope that has some stitching on it um, and then a craft um, tag I've added green ribbon to the craft tag and I've layered those two bits behind my photo I've also got a half doily in there too and I've also got a little bit of um, plastic packaging that was the perfect shade of green so I've popped that in as well um, and um, I'm also using a sticker from the coffee and friends collection um, as a layer under my photo as well and I'm fussy cutting out some flowers and they're going to go um, around my photo cluster as well uh, tucking in here and there um, so um, yeah all of that builds up a really good cluster you know considering I don't have a huge amount of this collection I started off with eight papers and one set of stickers and that's it literally that's all I had um, because the um, em other embellishments um, didn't arrive uh, with Lottie Loves paper so um, I just had to make do with what was there and I love a challenge um, so I went and found other things that I could pad out my layouts with so I've used cut files on most of them um, and I've brought in some Bramble Fox perspectives on quite a few um, and I went through my stash and found other bits and pieces as well like the craft tag and the envelope and, and things like that so I just had to get creative and find things from my very fast stash um, that I could use and that would work so and I'm really so happy with the layouts that I've created it kind of pushed me um, not just to use the bits and pieces from a collection uh, but to um, go in through and find other things that work as well um, so just putting on those little pearls now I've put them down the side of the layout um, along the side of the pattern paper so just lots of little pearls sticky back pearls in a line um, and I really wanted to use this border sticker that was on the Echo Park um, Coffee and Friends sticker sheet. Um, it's been sat there, I've been trying to use it for a while. The thing that really annoys me about these is that they're not 12 inches. <laughs> so it's a border strip, but it's not long enough to go across your page. Very annoying. It's only about um, quarter of an inch short, but it's very annoying nonetheless. Um, but um, what I've done, I've just put it in position there um, and I'm going to actually cut it um, and put a flower over the top to cover the joint and it will therefore stretch from top to bottom. Um, now there is no further embellishments over on the right hand side on the sketch um, but needs must and I really have to put something there in order to cover up um, this little problem that I've got. Um, I could have put it down the left hand side of the layout rather than the right um, in order to incorporate it but I just felt that the right hand side needed a bit of attention because it was you know the big cluster was on the left so I thought the right side might be feeling left out. Um, so uh, I put that pattern down there and then I've just added some flowers, fussy cut flowers over the gap that I created by cutting it in two. Um, I've got two 
fussy cut flowers there. I've also added a banner from the sticker sheet um, and I'm going to add a heart and some sequins as well. So really I have created another whole little cluster but it is little um, and nothing compared to the one on the left. Um, okay so where am I at? I'm adding in bits and pieces so I'm still going with my Bramble Fox heart perspectives. They're like a turquoise colour and um, they're not perfect for this layout. The lime green was better but I've run out of those so I'm onto my turquoise ones and they're okay they're just not 100% the right shade uh, to go with this collection but I think they still work and they're okay I'm, I'm happy with how it looks um, and I'm also bringing in some other wood veneer hearts as well so I've got some bigger ones and I've got some teeny tiny ones as well so I'm just adding those in and this is a set of um, Pink Fresh Studio stickers from the In The Mix collection number one um, that I think or The Mix or something like that anyway they were a set of um, just you know generic embellishments that would go with anything and I've had this set of puffy hearts for literally years um, and I just saw it the other day poking out of something I thought Do you know what I could probably use up some of those hearts I should put that out so I use some on in every layout um, and get those used up because I've had them for such a long time um, so I pulled off uh, some black hearts from there and some peachy colored ones as well that went really well with the pattern paper um, and I've just stuck those um, in position um, I've also been through my stash uh, of sequins my very vibrant last stash of sequins and pulled out another collection of sequins from Spiegel Mum Scraps that goes really well with this collection. I used an entire packet on the shaker I did the other day or last week um, but uh, this is another set that goes really well too. It's called Lovely Day and it has lots of uh, spring greens and peachy colours in there. There's also some green leaves and some gold leaves. They don't go as well but the initial, the two colours of sequins go really really well. So I've used those, sprinkled them on and stuck them in place with glossy accents. Now coming in with a few peachy coloured splatters from Shimmers. That one is called sun kissed very pretty color and that's me done so thank you very much for joining me today um, I think I can probably get one more coffee and friends layer out of what I've got left and that will be six I've done five so far um, and I really had fun playing along with the two challenges today so thank you so much for joining me that was Nikki Rowland for Lottie Loves Paper